My name is Enlifeling Gear. I'm here to present 9 bit stretch, uh, 24 over augmentation of Beethoven's 9th Symphony with no pitch distortion. In, in technical terms, this is not 9 bit stretch, is not stretch it is granulation which means that you know it, it's cut in very very small segments overlapping just tiny little bit and then reassembled and, and this is what this is why the pitch is kept because it's never changed because pitch is speed and and if you change the speed you change the, the pitch by by, cut, by by cutting it into very small digital segments you, you, you don't need to worry about the pitch, it's there. And this is also why you hear the instrumentation so perfectly clear. One of the basic curiosities is how much, if you only change duration, how much is left of the original work, because technically speaking it's exactly the same. You know, on the paper it looks exactly the same, it's just the measures are different. And, uh, and uh, the answer is it changed a lot. You know, if, if I did, I, I'm, I'm flagging Beethoven, you know, I'm using Beethoven even misusing him in many ways, you know, this is, I, I, I do not do it without flagging the fact that it is better, but if I did, people would sort of recognize it's an orchestral piece and because of the choir they would have a qualified guess which piece, but otherwise it would be really hard to figure out. You, you would need to know quite a lot of music history in order to figure this out, which to me was a very interesting revelation. You, you can just by, by changing the measure of, of, of time you change things so radically and uh, the experience, the, the, the physical experience of being at a concert is also totally changed and maybe even changing you as listener when you are listening to this. And this is interesting. Okay. Uh, but I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't really aim for it because I wouldn't know. So I, I am as surprised and maybe as neutral as anybody else to the sound. I don't feel I made this sound. The sound is made already. And the, the result is, was, was blowing me away as well. And I, I'm, I'm of course very happy about it. But from the conceptual, conceptual point of view, this was not important. But the fact that it makes this impact, makes it a piece it is. It is a physical impact, it is changing your attitude towards things, at least for a while. It, it does, it slows thinking, it, it's, it slows attention to, to things around you. It, it does affect you physically in a very different way than the original. Nothing bad said about the original, but this is this is a completely different experience and still it is exactly the same thing.
pun, I often say that th this is not just stretching a piece of music, this is stretching music history. It's so ingrained in our consciousness, you know immediately what you have when you hear it. And uh, to a degree this piece, 9-bit stretch, can make it alien again, fresh again, give it a new start. This doesn't, it, it can't go beyond the experience of being there. It's not something you hear about and think you understand what you're going to get, you want. You need to endure it, you need to be there, you need to physically take part of it. And then you can, you can get, get the physical understanding. And that's a totally non-conceptual thing to do. But it started up as a very simple concept, maybe even banal concept. The result is so much better than, <laughs> than the starting point.